Today, I'm gonna to show you how I use Coda, which is a really cool tool to do my content planning. Let's do it. Hey everybody, what's up? So last week, I've launched a new online course, the 10K website process, and for that, I had to create tons of content on social network, um, YouTube, Instagram, sending emails, tweet, all of that, and I wanted a really nice place to overview what I have to do every day and kind of understand what's on top of, like just understand what to do everywhere. So I wanna show you how I did this to kind of have an overview. Basically, this is Coda. It's basically a very smart Google Doc type of things that has, um, let me show you. Basically, I've created um, a table here and then put the stuff in it. And you can create, uh, choose kind of a content type in each column. So this one is a date. Here, I've created the drop down menu and I've entered all the platforms. So as you can see, we, I've turned this into a drop down list and put all the, all the possibilities of the drop downs here. So every new object that I create, I can just pick whether this is YouTube, Instagram, email, or Twit. And then this is what is the content. And here I have some check boxes, whether this is created, scheduled, or published. So this is the stuff that I did initially, but this is not very easy to see what you have to do every day. So the cool thing here is that once you have these tables, which basically serves as a database, you can create different views for them. So here I've created a calendar view, and this is basically kind of like, looks like cards view, something like Trello. And the way that you do this is, you create a view and you select which kind of a view you want. So as you can see, you can watch the view it as a table, cards, calendar, carts, or, um, or a grid, or charts, or something like that. But I didn't wanna see this as a calendar because that would basically turn it into something like this and this is not what I wanted. So I've turned it into cards and when I do that, I can actually um, select here in terms of visibility, what do I want to see on each card? So I just wanted to see which platform I have to do. And again, I've sorted this cards at, on, based on the publish date. So automatically it created uh, cards, kind of columns for each one of those um, dates based on the published date. And then I've only wanted to see which platform it was and what is the content. I did not want to see if it was created, scheduled. That was just making this too uh, complex and I just wanted it to be uh, clearly visible. So now that I had this done, I wanted to um, very easily see based on color what is what. So you can create formatting rules here. And basically I've set that every YouTube is going to be uh, colored as red, every Instagram as yellow, Twit as blue, and email is um, green. And on top of that, I've created another conditional, which a condition which is if the um, created box is checked, cross the text. And that's, so basically every day I open this up, this card, here's what I have to do and I can, click here if this was created or not created. And as you can see here in the background, once I've checked the created, I can easily see from the overview that this is done. So this is basically an elaborate to-do list that every day I can come here and say, all right, here's what I have to do today. This is done. Let me select this as done. It's already also scheduled. It wasn't published yet, but I'll keep it that way and very easily see what I have to do today, tomorrow, yesterday. Of course, if I have to move things to another day, it's very easy to just drag them. Again, just like Trello. Um, and I found this really, really helpful and useful. So again, I could have done that, I think, on Trello, but it would take a lot more work and I don't think that you could end up with the level of sophistication um, that kind of like automatically color them, automatically um, mark them as done when they are done and see that from the outside. For me, that was really, really a simple way to do that. I basically manage all my doc documentation in Coda as well. So having that on the same platform works really, really well for me, um, along with all of my notes and, and stats and all the kind of other stuff that I keep in Coda. I really, really like this tool because it's very versatile. 
versatile. Um, I guess it's pretty similar to Notion, which is pretty popular right now, but I tried Notion and for some reason, I don't know, maybe it was just their free plan was limited. So uh, I moved away from that kind of pretty uh, fast. And Coda, I've been using it for over a year now and it's like, it's I find it incredible and it's still free. So really, really like this. Hope you find this useful. If you're using Coda as well and you have your own tips for it, leave them down in the comments below. I'll see you on the next video.